Hi everyone, it's Budget Bunny here and today's video is just going to be the haul of goodies that I brought home for the pets from the All About Pet Show. If you guys have watched my video that I uploaded this morning, then you would know that we went to the All About Pet Show yesterday. It's Canada's largest pet showcase and it's held at the International Center in Mississauga every year. And it was our fourth year going and we had a great time. I think this year was actually their 20th anniversary of holding the pet show. So um, that's really cool as well. And every year it seems to get bigger and bigger. This year they'd also added on the world of horses and the world of fish. So it was really, really cool. And um, I encourage you guys to go watch the video because it was a pretty neat day. And it's something that I look forward to every Easter. So I didn't actually pick up too many things. I was pretty good this year. Um, but what I'm usually looking for are good deals or unique things that I don't usually find in the stores around us. So one of the things that we always make sure to pick up are these naturally shed elk antlers for the dogs. If you have larger dogs or dogs that are big chewers like us, I highly recommend these because they're antler, they're so tough and hard. Um, these last us months. So this was the extra large size that was $35, but I got to spin a wheel and they had different discounts and things on it. So we actually got 20% um, off and we did get two of them, one for each dog, but I couldn't get Murray to give up the other one for me for this video. So I just got this one here, but there are two. Um, so instead of $35 each, we paid $28 each. Um, in the store, in the pet store, we can't usually find this big. If we can, they're usually around $50, $55. Um, so that's why at the pet show, because they'll have the companies there that actually distribute them, you can usually get a better price. So um, one of these will probably last about six to eight months for us. And what we used to buy a long time ago were, I called them dinosaur bones, but they were these giant bones and they were probably the leg of a cow or something like that for the dogs. They were great for chewing, but they're really greasy because they had all the little bits and stuff on them. And um, I mean, that's just a big mess for your couch, for your carpet. It was kind of hard on our dog's stomachs as well. So yeah, if you have chewers, I highly encourage you to check out these because they really make a great chew toy and they are expensive, but they last so much longer than anything else we've ever tried out. So Charlie, I'm sorry, there was nothing for kitties. They had a kitty section. I think I mentioned in one of my videos we were looking to try and get a few things for Callie, but it's always the same things like the little mouse and, you know, jingle balls and things like that. Things that we could get in the pet store here. So, um, we kind of have something, a few things picked out that we want to get the cats that are a little bigger. So you can stay tuned for that. I don't know when we're going to get them because, um, we are still renovating the kitchen and that's a big cost so but hopefully soon we will be able to pamper them with a few cool things so next up was um the ontario rabbit education organization i had to check out their booth every year they have really cool um little rabbit toys and goodies um so this one here is just like a chew and toss toy it's got lots of fun things to nibble on and these were five dollars each so I got two of them. They had these cute little farmer's market seagrass spirals and they're just natural sun-dried grass snacks. And those were $3.50. Um, then I got one of these cute little toss chews. It's like a little rattle toss. And um, that was $5. That's a wear product. They were so cute. And I'm so excited about these two mobiles because I've seen them in other people's videos, but I haven't been able to find them anywhere. So they were $7 and they're a super pet item. So I got two of those. And then at, it was another booth, just a little pet shop booth. Um, I got the Living World Donuts. Um, I really don't buy treats that often, but I do like these ones and I like 
the Martin Mills banana muffins. The reason that I like these ones is because the bunnies, the guinea pigs, and the hamsters can have these. So I'm not kind of picking through my treats trying to figure out which ones they can have and which ones they can't. Because the banana muffin ones I think would be fine for the other two, but they only say they're a bunny treat on them. So um, I wasn't sure. But anyways, these are normally about $3.99 in the store and I got two for five. So that's why I picked up two. But like I said, my my pets don't really get treats that often. Usually veggies are their treats. And then I also got this really cute bunny gift basket. It was $10 at the Ontario Rabbit Education Organization. And it's just got like a willow bowl and a seagrass mat. Um, there's like a little willow treat from the Busy Bunny. Um, some apple sticks and things. Um, here, I'll open it up and we'll have a look. Okay, so there are lots of really cute things in here. So this is just a little seagrass little dish. There's some dried apple snacks. Some fresh apple sticks. A cute little willow heart. A little willow star. Some oat groats. And then it was all in this little nice little willow basket so they had different sized ones and different priced ones and they um, all had different things in them so this is the one that I chose but I thought those were a really great price and it was kind of cute how it was all wrapped up it was like a little present for the bunny so I'm really excited to give them all their treats and just quickly I wanted to show you just a few other things pamphlets and things that we got so this one here was a rabbit's coloring and activity book, but I thought it was really good. It was um, at Oreo Station. It was what you should know to make a rabbit healthy and happy. And so it's a coloring book for kids, which is really cool. But it also had really good tips and advice in there about um, caring for your rabbit. So I thought it was kind of neat how they had made it two different things at once. Oh, there's a different pamphlet in there. Oh, this was something we were looking at. Soggy dog vehicle seat covers, but they also had ones that go in um, like your hatchback. So with us having an SUV, our dogs go in the trunk um, because it's a hatchback and um, we use a blanket in there, but these were kind of cool because they were looked like they'd be easier to clean. Um, this one here was just from a raw food supplier so you guys know that we home cook but um, a lot of people feel that raw is the most healthiest way to go so we just have a pamphlet on that this is this and that um, they're the ones that we got the discount on it and bought the antler chews from um, their pricing was very decent and they had some other cool stuff there too this was just a really nice pamphlet usually I think we just got like a folded brochure but this year they got a really nice show guide and it had all our times and events and a map and everything and those are all the exhibitors so that was really cool and finally if you did watch my other video I had recorded Ryan from St. John's Ambulance showing us how to give a dog CPR this is the handout um, if you wanted to sign up for the pet first aid training, it is a full day. Um, it focuses on dogs and cats because I guess there are some differences between um, dog first aid and cat first aid, a few things you have to do differently. It is $100 for the course, but because we visited them, you do save $14 off of that price so my husband and I are considering doing it just because we have so many pets and it'd be kind of nice to know what to do in some emergency situations so um yeah but you can check out St. John's Ambulance for more information and to find a pet first aid training course near you so I guess that is all for me nice and short and sweet and I go hope you guys are all having a happy Easter please remember that rabbits are not children's toys they are living breathing animals that require you know a 10-year commitment and lots of love attention and special care so if you're not ready for any of that please give a chocolate bunny instead have a good one bye